This is Martha. Martha is an accomplished lawyer with more than 30 years of experience litigating cases before the country's highest courts. She would make an excellent judge. So when there's a vacancy in the federal court system, she's a shoe in for a speedy confirmation, right? Not necessarily. Here, in a few not so easy steps, is how a judge becomes a judge. America's federal court system is made up of 108 courts and more than 700 judges. The decisions made by federal judges impact the lives of Americans in almost every way imaginable. When a judge decides to retire, she usually gives a year's notice. This seems like a lot of time to find someone like Martha to replace her, but in reality, legislative stalling and bureaucratic delay can leave vacancies unfilled for months and even years. While they wait, Americans with cases in federal courts are denied access to justice. The first step to filling a vacancy is for the White House to consult with the United States senators from that state. Senators and their staffs conduct a thorough search, often through a committee of local legal experts. They eventually recommend Martha to the president. Thus, her long journey begins. Vetting can take months before the president officially <sighs> nominates a candidate. Martha's path next leads her to the United States Senate Judiciary Committee. The members of the committee send blue slips of paper to the home state senators to sign, signaling they approve of Martha's nomination. This long-standing tradition has become a favorite tool for senators to stall a nomination by failing to return the paper. While they delay, Martha and the people looking to have their day in court continue to wait. Signed blue papers in hand, Martha's next stop is in front of the full Judiciary Committee. At her hearing, members pepper her with questions. Eventually, they will vote on her nomination, which can be delayed until the committee's next meeting. If approved, Martha is voted on by the full U.S. Senate. Another opportunity for a lengthy delay, despite the nominee's previous approval by the appropriate committees and senators. When Martha is finally confirmed by the Senate, she officially becomes a federal judge. Her long wait to serve the American people is over. In order to ensure that our federal court system is operating as the founders intended, it's important that judges like Martha get appointed in a timely manner. The more efficient and timely the process, the sooner our overburdened judges can get help with cases, which means more Americans can have their day in court. For more information, visit whycourtsmatter.org.